Okay, well, welcome back to the next episode of Up Sheds. This is part three of the rotary brooch um, tooling that I'm making. So um, we're going to use this drop here to make the uh, thrust washer. So this is 35 millimeters in diameter. It will end up being 35 millimeters in diameter. It's eight millimeters thick with a millimeter shoulder. Um, it comes out, I think it's about 27 millimeters either side. So we'll do the first one, it's just a hot, uh, one mil deep either side. So we'll get this faced and down to size and uh, we'll get in with the machine. So Okay, well initially it didn't fit, so I've just done a spring pass in there and we can see now that that is a, a nice slip fit in there. So it's really just to take up the from the thrust washer to the bearing that sits at the bottom and we'll plate in between. Okay, so we now need to cut the face of this. I'm just going to do one face. I was going to do them both. I'm just going to do one. I'm going to take a millimetre off of this face and then the actual thrust washer itself will be eight millimeters deep in total so uh, we'll do that now thrust washer made. So we'll uh, go back to the bench and I'll show you how this is used in conjunction with the other bearings. Okay so that's our thrust washer. This is our thrust bearing. So we've got the two thrust plates and the bearing race. So the thrust bearing will sit like that and then we make sure that this lip or this shoulder is pointing down so that this part of the thrust plate supports all of this and then the inner race of the bearing is the only bit that touches on there and that's perfect we're a little bit high there which is right that's how we should be and then what's left to go on here is one of the bearing and that sits on top and that whole assembly then slides into the body. Okay, so the last thing we need to do is make this top plate. So we'll get some more material into the lathe and uh, we'll get working on that. Okay, well as you can see, we're back at the lathe. I've got another drop of uh, unknownium metal here. <laughs> um, that I managed to acquire. So um, we're just going to, this will be the top cap for the um, main body. So the beauty of this is because this face is perpendicular to this hole, all of my turning can be perpendicular or, or you know, concentric to the lathe, which is great. So we've got a 35mm uh, bore here, so we just need a 35mm shoulder. And then we'll just leave this oversize. Um, the PCD of this is 42 millimeters which we'll sort out 
when we're at the mill on the, on the DRO. So it's literally just a case of, you know, as I say, cut the shoulder, cut the bore for 17 mil for the holder to come to poke through, and then, you know, we'll turn a, a section off um, and then um, get it down to size when it's attached to this, um, which will be a much easier way of, of dealing with it rather than trying to hold it in the chuck with just a, a half a millimetre shoulder. So uh, so yeah, so that's um, where we're going with it. That's what we're looking to do. So um, let's get to it. Okay, so let's bore out to roughly 18 millimeters, and the reason for that is, is that I just wanted to have a bit of room. So it's 17.9 there, which is fine. So I just wanted this to have a a bit of room, so it wasn't going to rub on this um, through the actual uh, cap. So what's left for me to do is um, create the shoulder, and then bring this down to a more manageable size and part it off and my battery is very close to dying so what I'll do is I'll get the battery on charge and I'll mostly get this done off camera and then I'll bring you back when we're over at the milling machine ready to do the two holes um, for fixing it to the actual body itself so I'll, uh, I'll bring you back then And there we go, a little bit tidy up to do, and then we can uh, get this back on the body and, and finish it off. So I'll see you back at the bench. Okay, well, as you can see, that fits on there really well. So I'm going to mount this back onto the MT2 Arbor, and then we'll turn this in the lathe and just skim the outside of this and then bring this down to dimension so it, uh, it matches the body. Um, what I might do. <clears throat> Let's see if I can clean this face up, but it's not a fantastic finish because that's just from the uh, parting off tool. So uh, I might have to see if I can get some countersunk screws and just drop them down a little bit. Um, but essentially the part's done, but I'll do all that off camera, all the all the finishing work off camera. Um, so that's it really for, the, for, the, for this episode. Um, in the next episode we'll be doing the final assembly, so that'll be obviously getting all the bearings pushed inside and fitted and hopefully um, be able to get it running with either the 8 or the 6mm cutter that we've got and uh, we'll cut some internal hexes all being well so that'll be on the next episode um, as always guys thanks for watching and um, we'll see you next time